out! Here goes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot them rockets at him already! Welcome to Mojo Plays. Today, we're looking at the 10 funniest Saints Row 4 Easter eggs. Who needs subtlety when you've got the Third Street Saints? What the? Quickly! For this list, we're looking at the best pop culture and video game references in Saints Row 4. It's nothing against the other games in the series, we just think 4 has the best ones. Before we begin, we publish new content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Streets of Rage One of the many characters you need to rescue throughout the game is Johnny Gap, whose death was apparently part of a scheme by Zinyak to kill him years ahead of his planned invasion of Earth. So, Gat is alive, for now, and needs to be pulled out of the simulation. His simulation is a 2D side-scrolling beat-em-up, a clear reference to popular games like Streets of Rage or Double Dragon. At the time, we weren't seeing too many popular new beat-em-ups, so it was a great change of pace to see it done in that classic Saints Row style. And it was a refreshing way to mix up the main gameplay, which was getting increasingly ridiculous. From Asha with Love Last chance. International Woman of Mystery Asha is a new character introduced at the beginning of the game, but she returns as one of your key allies throughout. Crucially, Asha is a British secret agent, and as such, all of her missions are puns on Bond movie titles, and her codename is 003. Her best mission, though, is from Asha with Love. Its name copies 1963's From Russia With Love, but the gameplay is a parody of the earlier Metal Gear games. What the? Quickly! They've even got the alert sound effect and plenty of references to the series and the dialogue of guards you need to avoid. Plus, hiding in a cardboard box. Two weeks from retirement! I suppose that's an option. Ghostbusters. I beams? Seriously? There's more ammo in the crate over there! As you'll learn over the course of this video, Volition loves 80s movies and references them with reckless abandon. You need to rescue Pierce, and he's in your old HQ in Steelport being raided by Saints Flow Energy Drink mascots. But it gets better. Outside, you'll hear in human roars until the giant, monstrous can of Saints Flow, called Paul, reveals itself. Look out! Here comes Paul! Paul? You named it Paul? Hey man, does it matter? Shoot them rockets at him already! Not only is this clearly an homage to the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man from Ghostbusters, but it's a wider reference to kaiju movies more generally. The sounds it makes are definitely reminiscent of Godzilla. It would be a perfect mission if you didn't have to worry about reviving Pierce constantly. Time to make a monument. Yeah, that's a good look. Inflatable pilot. One of the more notorious collectibles from Saints Row 3 were the many blow-up dolls scattered throughout the city. The blow-up doll returns in a small easter egg in Saints Row 4, as when you take a look inside the cockpit of your ship, you'll see one there helping steer. This bizarre incident is, of course, a reference to the movie Airplane and the inflatable autopilot, or autopilot. I'll go back to the passengers. Luckily, you'll never have to manually reinflate the blow-up doll flying your ship, then again, it wouldn't be the weirdest thing that happens in this game. Murder bots. Yet again, we're heading to the 1980s for this overt reference to the Terminator franchise. The Zin send murder bots to try and take you out. 
shooting you with mines and lasers. Luckily, they're a lot easier to kill than the T-800 in the movie. Then again, the President of the United States is definitely a more capable fighter than Sarah Connor, so maybe that's the reason. Regardless, the bots will hunt you relentlessly, and if you destroy their lower halves, they'll crawl along the floor and just keep coming, just like Arnie at the end of the first movie. Will they be back in the reboot? Mass Effect. Hey, whatever happened with that guy who won your dating show? Puerto Rican Thunder God? He was sweet and all, but performance didn't live up to the name. Another big video game reference, the third and fourth Saints Row games were being developed right around the time Mass Effect was at peak popularity. So, Volition decided to lampoon this most popular franchise in the structure of Saints Row 4. You're the captain of a ship flying around the alien base, and in between missions, you can talk to the members of your crew. Alright Sid, here's the deal. You need me to ravage you. <laughs> you can also press X to romance them all, and unlike Mass Effect, it doesn't take the entire game to get to third base. And finally, each of your crew now has loyalty missions you can do. We wonder what Bioware thought about this. I stay on top and you don't get to talk. Deal! Action movies. Not satisfied with beat-em-ups or RPGs, Saints Row 4 also turned its satirical sights on the world of first-person shooter action games, and action movies by extension. The opening mission sees you, accompanied by your trusty crew, helping Asha to perform an assassination. Right away, we're seeing an homage to 1987's Predator as the helicopters fly in and Long Tall Sally plays. But then it changes to a direct parody of games like Call of Duty, arguably at its critical peak at the time, as you go in to save the world from the dictator of a purposely vague country. The mission is called Zero Saints 30 for a reason, after all. Leave it to Beaver. I think I heard Timmy deliver the paper earlier. Could you fetch it, dear? Sure thing, dear! After being installed in the simulation by the Zin, it turns out that they thought the best way to keep the president trapped was to make them the protagonist of a 1950s sitcom. That sitcom is, of course, Leave it to Beaver, emblematic of the era. Your wife, Chandri, makes you a delicious breakfast of pancakes while various brand sponsors appear on screen. The only joys in home cookware. There are yet more jokes in this section, however, as it could just as easily be another meta video game reference, this time to the memorable Tranquility Lane level in Fallout 3. You'll also find references to 1950s and 60s movie titles showing at the drive-in, and there's a song parodying Mr. Sandman playing along. We're almost there. <laughs> they live. Gotta snap out of it! Snap out of it! After briefly appearing as another character back in Saints Row 2, Keith David returned to play a fictionalized version of himself in the fourth installment. When the boss needs to save their crew from within the simulation, Keith David is in a reenactment of his iconic fight scene in 1988's They Live. You couldn't even save your own! Keith! Listen to me! Roddy Piper needs to wake Keith David up to the conspiracy that the world's elite are brainwashing ordinary people into being mindless consumers. Not only do you get to watch the fight again, but it's got pretty clear parallels to the plot of the game and how Keith needs to be saved. And yes, it really was Roddy Piper voicing himself. Hey, I'm Roddy. Roddy Piper. Hey, I'm the President of the United States. Sure. Why not? The Matrix. Look, lady, we're doing this in my time. No, you're not. <laughs> The entirety of Saints Row 4 is really one giant Matrix reference, and was intended to be that way from the beginning. 
One working title for the game, back when it was still a DLC for Saints Row 3, was actually Enter the Dominatrix. The alien simulation used to control the population of Earth after the planet is destroyed is exactly like the plot of The Matrix, right down to your dramatic escapes from inside the alien pods. Your ship is uncannily similar to the hovercraft used by the main characters in The Matrix, as is the process for waking up your key allies and freeing them. It was even better than the relentless Tron parodies in the previous game. None of this I can work with. Good, because I'm not sneaking me out. This is my world to shape as I see fit, not yours. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, there's more where that came from.